welcome yeah, you tonight, yeah, each and every one of you, yeah, sure. family, friends, up, up, up. well wishes. Yeah. Tonight is a night of remembrance. It's a night of prayer. It's a night that we will look back on the life of Pauline Mackenzie. And during this time, we can take a stock of our own lives, of who we are and where we are going. There's one thing I know, that Perlin is with the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Now check yourself and say, if you should die tonight, where will you be going? Jesus said that in his father's house there are many mansions. Will you be with your father if you should go tonight? Just think about your life, your own life. Amen. Mm -hmm. I just want to read a few scriptures. And we have a prayer, and just think. I want each one of us to think about their own lives. Amen. Amen. I'll read from Luke 11, verse 1. Now it came to pass, as he was praying in a certain place, when he sees one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray. as John also thought his disciple. Amen. He said to them, when we pray, you pray and say, if you could join me, whoever knows. As I said, this is a night of prayer and remembrance. I don't think no one of you carry your prayer book or your Bible. Amen. But if you know it, you can say after me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come. You will be done. You will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us of our sins. For we also forgive everyone who is indebted to us. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. I just say a few things that I'll put together here. In the cold, gray, early morning, three women wended their way through the darkened streets of Jerusalem, where the dawn of the first day of the week, but their heart was heavy. Their feet plodded slowly over the rough stones of the streets of Jerusalem. The day preceding the Sabbath day, they had seen their oaths in Jesus of Nazareth crush. They witnessed him dying a cruel death on, by crucifixion. It had been their hopes that he would redeem them and deliver them from the Roman oppressors. But now their dreams and hope lay in a darkened tomb. In their hands they carried spices. At their measure of devotion, 
they wanted to anoint the dead body of Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, we gathered here tonight to remember this great woman of God, Pauline Pearl Mackenzie, who over the past 10 years, she's plodded slowly over the streets of London, knocking doors, spreading, preaching, and evangelize the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ in all weather, in the winter when it's dark and freezing cold, when snow is in the air and on the ground, frost is nipping at your fingers and your toes. With her team she goes on and on, enjoy the calling and the anointing of God upon her life. taking people's souls out of darkness into the light of God, fulfilling the great commission of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Mark 15, 16, he said, going out to all the world and preaching gospel to every creature, I thank God for the blessing upon her life. and the love she had poured out to so many broken hearts, so many family in need of God's love, her family, her children, her grandchildren, friends and neighbors, all who that comes into contact with our presence. I know that the whole has been blessed. The mantle, this one, of God, carries, is in heaven with her, with Jesus Christ. Amen. Can we just bow our heads and sit here? Have mercy, God, Lord of life. You make us in your image to reflect your truth and light. We thank you for Pearlene, for the grace and mercy she received from you, for all that was good in her life, for the memories we, tre we treasures today. You promise eternal life to those who believe. Remember for good your servant, Pearlene, as we remember her. Bring all who rest in Christ into the fullness of your kingdom, where sins have been forgiven and death is no more. Your mighty powers bring joy out of grief and light out of death. Look up and look in mercy on all who mourn. Give them patience in time of darkness. Strengthen them with knowledge of your love. You are tender towards your children and your mercy is all over your works. Heal the memories of hurt and failure. Give us wisdom and grace to use the time that is left on earth to turn Christ, to follow his steps in the way that leads to everlasting life. God of mercy, and trust in your hands all that you have made and rejoiced in in your communication with all your faithful people. 
we make our prayers through Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Father, I just thank you tonight for this time that we can share your word. Because, Lord, when we call upon your word, you are there. When we call upon your name, you are there. Father, I just thank you for the rest of this night. We leave it in your precious hands. Amen. Amen. Introducing you to our musicians. I know that you've been waiting very patiently and sincerely to hear them. Jesus said that you, the, you left the best wine for last. Mm -hmm. Here they are. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.